This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. Ladies and gentlemen, for being on live the most in Instagram too much, the winner is Nina Bonina Brown. Oh my god, I won. I won. I knew something good was gonna happen. I knew something good was gonna happen. I woke up, my hemorrhoids were hurting, my clitoris was jumping, my depression was quaking. I just wanna say that Sasha Valora won season nine, but I won a can of soup. Who would have known that not going to bookings and skipping real jobs and staying in my mom's basement all day and doing makeup all day and being on live 24 seven would have got me Instagram's best drag queen award? <laughs> Baby, from everybody out there who's suffering from depression, I am here to say it doesn't get better. We made it, God. 2019. Now somebody get me a spoon. A bitch is hungry. I hope that's chicken. Hello, guys. I'm excited to be back. I'm so excited and I just can't fight it. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know I want to, I got to, I need to, I want you. You're a Jew, he's a Jew, I'm a Jew, bubble shoes. Hello? I think they bought my excitement. Yeah, they're dumb. They don't know that I'm acting. Hey piggies, how y'all doing? Yes, y'all know how we do it. We're back for another raw view of Drag Race All Stars 8 featuring Janisha Mansfield, Alexis G. Shell, Kasha Davus, Darian Lakis, Kahana Montus. Lala Rarus, Candy Abuse, Nasha Hotas, uh, Jimbo Zozo. I think that's all them girls. <laughs> but y'all know how we do it here at P Piggies. You come here, keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Oh, Mon oh, Monica Beverly Holes. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody new pops up or shows up and you don't know the rules, you'll learn them fast. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a little too late, maybe a block, but. <laughs> Cause y'all know how I do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real, my kind of real. I'm gonna say things that you may not wanna hear. I may not like something that your favorite is wearing or what they're saying or doing. And that's my prerogative. Okay, you can disagree, but keep it cute. And that's fine. So I don't even know where to begin. I'm just like, I had comments from the last video I did when they did the little like little like sneak peek thing. But I'm like, is it even worth reading it? Just start fresh and just, you know, start from now and whatever comments I want to read and whatever tips and all that kind of stuff, just start fresh. Um, and I hear that it's a double premiere. So I'm like, uh, I guess this will be a double premiere raw view. Oh God, somebody save me. Oh, and also the video in the beginning. Yes, that was when WoW used to like me and I won the best Instagram of the year WoWy Can Award. Let me show it to you. And it's dirty, as it should be. <laughs> but it says the Drag Instagram Award, best Instagram. And I thought this meant something. But in the words of them to me, throw it away. <laughs> Sorry, Chucky. I almost broke his leg with all that chicken noodle soup inside there. Oh, y'all need to share pictures and stuff of y'all's um drag con experiences. I hope y'all enjoyed me there. Y'all saw my flyer. I was there. Oh, and I might be seeing some of you LA girls next, like in, in about two weeks. 
I have a possible, it's up to me to kind of say yes, but a possible booking. I haven't been to LA in a couple of years. Kind of scared to go. I feel like LA people don't, don't like me. <laughs> I do, but I may be seeing y'all, so bottoms, get your holes ready. If anybody has any discounts for Nintendo World, Universal Studios, anybody who works for a hotel can get me some discounts, let me know. Because I want to stay some extra days. So message me with serious inquiries. Okay? This is Y'all know I be having random moments, but I was going to actually do a separate video of like, you know, I think I talked about this before of how like, you know, I know I have my Hispanic, Latino fans out there, you know, but my experiences, you know, from what I see. So for example, you know, the whole Little Mermaid thing with Holly Bailey being Ariel. You know, I had doubts about it. Cause, Cause like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh, you know, I want them to, them to do like any kind of movie where they're like remaking something. You kind of want to see the exact character, how you've seen them in the game or the movies, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, for, for most people, it's not racism. It's just a nostalgic thing. But for a lot of people, it is racism, right? So like, just like going through her comment sections, I'm thinking I'm gonna see mostly like um, racist white people. But once again, it's mostly Hispanic people. Like literally these comments like right here, like, and they love to they love to leave puke emojis all the time, and, and and the reason why I think it bothered me is because I went through that and go through that from the Drag Race fandom with Valentina and them, and um, you know I try to like, like it's not my business, but it kind of is, and you know we like to read people's comments for some reason when we go on people's pages, but I just, I'm just like why are these Latino people mad? Talking about, you know, saying some horrible things and being like, ruining their childhood. As if y'all are white. You're not white, so why are you mad about Ariel being black? You're not white. <laughs> and then I go to some of their pages, the first, the first thing in their page is like, voted for Trump. I'm like, I don't know why a lot of Hispanic people in their mind think they're white. And they think that white people are going to treat them as equal. It's like... No, like the person who y'all were voting for was trying to put y'all over the wall. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like where all this like delusion comes from that y'all are white. You're not. <laughs> I cannot. Like it just, I still think about doing a whole video on that because like it really irked to me. It irked to me. I'm just like, what is wrong with people? And then it's one white lady, like as a white woman with red hair, my daughter won't be watching this movie. I've always been called Ariel and the Little Mermaid as a nickname, and especially by kids. It's sad that now I don't fit the criteria. And when I fell pregnant, I was so excited, knowing she'd see me as Ariel. I think it's so cute. Ariel's a very special Disney princess to me, and that's based on her features and how she looks, and I will keep that. So my daughter will only watch the original version, not this Essie remake. She could have at least kept the at least kept the red hair. It's the forty year old older people crying about Little Mermaid. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kids are like, uh, "We just want to see a mermaid." <laughs> Nobody has that much power to ruin your childhood, girl. Like the original Little Mermaid is still there, and your daughter wouldn't even know who Ariel was. And you could always still be compared to Chucky. Or Annie, or Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> like, it's not that serious. Y'all are just saying things just cuz. It's like, yes, I wish, you know, that I could have seen the Ariel that I saw in the cartoon movies. But I'm like, you know, we, we most of us know what Disney's kind of doing now. All these companies are trying to, like, make up for their past mistakes, right? So some of it does seem forced. It does. But that doesn't mean you have to, like, go in there and just spew out your racism and your negativity. If you don't like something, as y'all claim y'all don't like it, but y'all on every post they post about it, don't even entertain it. Don't go to the movies. They don't care. They're gonna make millions of dollars anyway. <laughs> anyway, I just had to say that. I still 
think I want to do a separate video on that. Oh, are y'all going to cancel Sonique for this? You know, when I first met you, I thought you were a tranny. Remember? You did think that. I used to be like, no, you you're a woman, that. bitch. Right. Exactly. Well, should y'all get mad? I say, tranny port to Mars. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh. And if you would like to tip and support, by all means, please do. It's a new season. It's 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 new days. Some of y'all, I know y'all been prostituting over the winter. Now it's time to pay me. Thank you for prostituting for me. Give me your money, honey. Trust. You know all the information is in the description box down below. Uh, let me see. In fact, let me see. Cause like I haven't read tips since like the last time, the last, like the finale of the other season. What season was that? <laughs> so some of these tips are going to be like, like, I don't know, maybe last video, maybe even some of the bad boy stuff. I just wanted to read people's names. Thank you, Anthony Vargas. Thank you, Jordan Morris. Oh, uh, thank you, Timmy guy. Oh, it's, it's enough. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gonzalo Choco, Choco. Thank you, Gustavo Alvaro. See what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of like Hispanic fans. Somehow. They didn't get the memo. <laughs> so once again, you know, me saying that stuff earlier, if that is not you, then you have nothing to worry about. A hit dog will holler. I'm speaking to the ones who are hateful. The interview era is oh, thank you for oh, Alley Cat, thank you. Thank you, Nathan L. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Again, thank you, Lee. Oh, Lee Bowling. Thank you for that great tip. Thank you, Thomas Jigado. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Right here, make, for, make sure y'all tip for real so I can have money to go to Nintendo World and live my life for you guys. You guys can live through me. See, yep, 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 yep. That sounds good. Yep, yep. Y'all can live through me. It's as if y'all would be at Nintendo World too. Think about the benefits. If y'all give me money, honey, trust. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer Gilliatt for the good tip. Thank you, Autumn Brown. Thank you, Elkin Arroy Arroy Royal. I like how your legs are open in those shorts. I can tell that crotch died from natural causes. Oh, Ocho Loco, I Kamba, I Karamba, CC Poppy, Pupo Tapa, Papa Roo. Thank you, Robert Camacho, for your good tip. Ja, 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 ja. I am laughing with joy. Okototo, Papa Sipu. Papa Ru. Otamiko. That poor thing. Y'all, he been wanting me to give him one of my shirts. He swear to God, if he took me that much money, I'm gonna give him a free shirt. He got another thing coming. Cinco de Mayo's Drag Racist chooses him. Thank you, David Biden. Thank you, Paul Strangeland. Thank you, Clayton Savings. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Are we ready for another year of Carlos' name? Thank you, Kathy Kelly. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> I'm in. Thank you, Michael Mentor. Thank you, Hamden Alamasuri. Thank you, Cameron Clunes. Thank you, Ryan. Wait, is that is that you? Wait, is Ryan's story the one I call a, a bald lesbian? Is that you? Is that is that you? Have they, is that you? Are you the one that look like Eartha Kit in a do rag? And if it's not, J.K. <laughs> Continue to tip me, please. Thank you, Steve Romero. Thank you, Sandra Christopher. Thank you, Tamara Fedeseva. Thank you, Jasmine Walter. Oh, yeah. Those are all the tips. Thank you, guys, for all your wonderful tips. Well, let's get to it. Guys, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do the first, like, 15 minutes or so because you can just go to my um, other video. You can click here. Something tells me I'm not going to edit it incorrectly. <laughs> I'm not that professional. But click here. There's probably nothing here right now, but <laughs> for that video, I wanted to start it after all the girls meet. So, and that's an award. You can I just had to say this real quick because I didn't see this part right here, but I'm like, not RuPaul in the short wig, not in the 27 piece, 
and I can't even clock the hairline because it's being covered. I see you, queen. Of course I'm just saying that, honey. I'm trying to win $200,000. You are some of the most gorgeous, outrageous, and correct. I mean, he said that he says every year. Don't feel special. If the lip sync assassin wins, a secret group vote will determine. So if I heard this correctly, the top all-star person, if they win, they'll send whoever they want to send home. If the assassin wins, then the girls come as a group and decide which one should go home. They always cooking up new shenanigans. We're throwing a fashion extravaganza. First cap. So the gals are doing a fashion show. Like they kind of been doing this for a while though. Like the whole fashion thong, the fashion moment. So let's see if the girls are bringing fashion, city trends, Dollar General realness, Kmart, Big Lot, Piggly Wigglies. <laughs> the pussy fired up now. All star. Girl, she just bouncing away over there. I'm not mad if you spend all that money on a, a whole prosthetic. Body, you better make everything jiggle. <laughs> oh, yes, God, I am serving. No For a second, I thought that was Trinity Taylor. For a second, it says the category is famous, then, but this is cute though. I like how she did her makeup. It, it is very like old time Hollywood glamour. So, I, I really love the face. <laughs> yes, but can y'all stop putting in black and white? I want to clock her in color. <laughs> But I will say it is funny because I feel like I'm like almost in a way watching like season nine again or something. You know what I, what I was thinking? This is a weird thought. Like if they somehow put every girl from season nine on All Stars besides me. Um, why why can I picture them for fun? Even if it's like one episode. Like redoing season nine. Like redoing. Bitch, I'm talking right now. My fans are so rude. They want to support and give me likes and subscribes and money while I'm talking. But when I'm quiet, they're not doing anything. But the minute I'm speaking, they want to support me. They're so backwards. I don't understand it. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying before I was so rudely supported, I could see them like redoing season nine. Like that really could be funny. Like for real, like how everybody is now, but the whole, like for one episode or something, that could be cool. Montrese. I am taking you back to Fox Hill. Ow. She looks cute. That damn pointy chin. <laughs> that damn chin. It's not even attached to the rest of the face. <laughs> Kahana, you didn't need that chin, girl. You did not need that chin. You didn't need that. You did not need the chin. I know she did it to try to like soften the face, but it's just sitting there. It's just like <laughs> it, it is there. It just like, <laughs> I wanted to saw it off a little bit. But what I will say, what I'm noticing so far with this season, the girls are doing drag. The girls are padding. They are putting on a little cleavage. They're putting on makeup. Like, I'm like, yes. Like, like let me find out All Stars 8 is taking it back to drag. Let me find out. Heidi and Closet. My well, never mind. Ball from Poverty Sheet. And it's out ignorant, but with a... Can they calm down with the black and white? <laughs> I can't get into the makeup or anything. Well, from what I see with the makeup, I don't like the white part. I don't get it. She could she she could have just came out just just pretty, you know. But I like the shape of the dress though. Like I love the shape of the dress. I'm gonna still rent this though. You Lucille Ball, nineteen forty-five Zigfield Farley's. I love Lucy. Oh, this is cut. I mean, this, this is okay though. I like the dress without the headpiece. But this is cautious time. Girl, she was back then. You know, she um helped put Marilyn Monroe in makeup. You know, so. <laughs> this is right up her alley. Nisha Lopez. Bitch, I am serving classic view. Unfortunately, she looks nice. Unfortunately. And I told y'all, I may cannot like somebody like that. Even though we don't know each other. But somehow, anyway. But I can still give props to be like, yeah, she looks cute. It definitely fits the time frame. Pearls exactly how Miss Coco. Oh, the fit is kind of big, but she, but but I, I think I just more so like the face with the hair. Like like if you, if you put that in black and white, she would look like she came from like that time that time era. Supermodel RuPaul as this thing will detail. I like the hair, but I don't get the outfit. The outfit is yeah. This is like <laughs> the outfit is a boot really. 
Yeah. Not a boot. Girl, I'm not I'm not I'm not that so Raven. Girl, I mean Raven and Raja. Girl, whatever their names are, child. I was looking at one of my white fans' comments on here. He threw me off. I'm not going to buy a rendit. I love the hair, but I'm like, it. not, not only does the outfit just kind of just look like, I don't know, it came from um, Joanne's fabric. I don't, <laughs> but I don't I don't get the time era. Like, everybody else is giving me, like, old Hollywood, and she's just like, I'm going to do my own thing. I am ready for the Renaissance Festival. Yes, just get this girl a turkey leg. I don't care for this. It's like, no. No. I don't care for this. Sorry. Hi. I don't get it. <laughs> Does it have anything to anything to do with the assignment? My drag has really changed a lot. Back in the day, it was kind of cheap. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? Her saying that, and people in my comments saying, she looks cheap. <laughs> a gorgeous sequence gown inspired by my Mexican heritage. Valentina knockoff. Sit down. Girl, bye. And girl, she ain't mentioned she was a Mexican in the first season nine. But now she's a Mexican. Girl, she knows she is 99% white and 1% Mexican. <laughs> but she looks cute though. Maybe I didn't understand the assignment. I thought he said like something something Hollywood rich something but she does look nice though she does and she's cinch I'm gonna rent this oh, I am the queen Nefertiti I know RuPaul is looking at racist okay Nefertiti was a black woman a strong black woman and you can watch her on Michael Jackson's video because she told Eddie Murphy that she was bored I'm bored I want to be entertained okay Y'all gonna cancel her? Cause y'all will cancel me for doing anything. It is a little costumey. Yeah, but y'all know I don't, I don't, I, I don't get into all of that. <laughs> but I do, I do like the headpiece though. I do. But I guess I'm, I'm just confused. I'm confused on the assignment. I don't understand the assignment. Ow. Serving a Marilyn Monroe. I mean, Jimbo like looks a mess. <laughs> as far as like, I would love this on somebody who's like really pretty. <gasps> no shade. I mean, like she's cute. For, you know, for Jimbo. <laughs> but I have to buy the dress, though. The dress is sickening. I really, you know, I know that she likes to have, like, extra, extra body. I kind of wish that she didn't have this big old giant breastplate on. Like, just, it was, it, uh, uh, just because the, the whole neck part just throws me off. I'm just like, besides that, though, the dress is a buy. Like, the way they made it seem like it's permanently blowing in the wind. You know, I think somebody somebody did something like this before, though. Not like this exact extreme, but like with something where the, it was like the wind blowing. it. La La Ree. Oh. oh. I'm giving you all school. I'll tell you that wig barely fit on her head. <laughs> I'll tell you that wig is sitting, is sitting on top of the ears. <laughs> the way you know when a wig don't fit your head, because it's, it's supposed to come down... A little like past your ear like to your sideburn but she got it on somehow child but i see where the lace where the lace stopped at <laughs> but the dress is nice though i'm gonna rip the dress alexis michelle anyone have eyes on alexis okay so it was famous then and then famous now she's doing like i guess that kim kardashian kind of thing i feel like this should be something for me you know something that i would do right but it's cute though it's, 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 it's different for Alexis. I'm going to rent this. That color just makes her eyes pop. <laughs> the ponytail should have been black too, though. I'm on trees. I'm serving. Ow, I'm buying this. It's little Nas, but drag. This is sickening. She looks like, like, I want her to show up to the Barbie premiere movie dressed in this. Take a bow. My famous now look is think. I'm going to buy this for Heidi. I think this is cute. It's fun. This is Daja Davis. Monitor Jenner. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's very Kasha, but like, it's very like season seven though. Nasha Lopez. My inspiration for this look is none other than. Oh, I thought she was gonna say J Lo. My friend be calling her J No. <laughs> I like the colors. It's very Miami. Yes, but yes, I mean it's cute. I will actually rent this look. Child, am I serving glass? 
Well, rumor is you better serve her while you can. <laughs> Candy Muse. Oh. Huh? If Candy don't calm down with this blush. <laughs> Show you high fashion, futuristic celebrity. This, I mean, like, I feel like this is like it's it's cute, but it, I feel like the other girls have been bringing it, bringing it a little more so far. Darian Lake. I am serving Billie Eilish. No. <laughs> Y'all promise me this. When I get this old and I'm coming out saying, I am serving Nicki Minaj and I look old and tired. Can y'all please tell me to sit home, to, to just sit down and stay home? Please, just, 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 just go on my DMs and say, Nina, it's time to sit down. It's over. <laughs> but just in general, <laughs> I don't really, um, yeah, I really don't care for this, unfortunately. And I don't know if, if it's because the shape of it. I don't know if it's the age. I don't know, but I just, I just feel like it doesn't, it's not working. It's not working for me. And of course these boots, because baby, these boots are cost. The boots are sickening, but you know, one thing I know about Monica, you know, her being trans girl, she never really seemed to, um, I, what I think care about having like the most curves and stuff. Um, with that being said, I wish this outfit would have more curves. It needs more curves. It's just kind of it's just kind of straight up and down. The best part is the boots. Um, are the boots? Uh, yeah, I think she just likes to be like you know the kind of skinnier model type, whatever. I don't think that for this outfit, it just needs a little more something to curve it out more because it's kind of just plain. Phil, oh my God, is Joe? <laughs> this is cute for James. I'm gonna rip this. Go wild. My new fame look is inspired by this. This is okay. It's okay. Like it's not bad, I'm, but I'm not like excited about it either. It's it's okay. Ooh, I give this the thumbs up. For my I don't like the um the cinch part. Not not that not that the cinch is bad, but the corset I guess is supposed to be like a nude illusion, but I, it's just. I just see that. My my eyes are going straight to that. Like I don't it's okay. It's okay. I will subscribe to Ruly Fans. <laughs> well, and then it, the the scraps of the heels look like they, they're barely tied. Kinda loose. One of my drag race crushes is here in the room. Miss La La Ree. Alexis, since when you start dating black men, child? Since when, girl? That is not Shaquille O'Neal, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, you know, feminine. Serving some trade. Oh, Lord. There they go ruining trade even further. <laughs> I, another way to win. I don't know. Point system. Uh, Damn, James looked concerned. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, wasn't it? <laughs> that was very acting and camera time. I don't really know what they're trying to get us to do. I'm really nervous about this. It, it's giving me, once again with camera time, pretending that I already don't know that my peach prop fits on my head. So the camera zooms in on me and I'm like, oh my God, does it fit? Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're acting. <laughs> Kahana Montrese. Now this is gonna be fun. It's candy Muse. The girls are camera ready. <laughs> now this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Did you get that? Get the side profile. Do it again. Now this is going to be fun. <laughs> and in your groups, you need to work together to create the choreography. So I was listening, but then kind of not, but then kind of listening, but then not really. <laughs> but um, I think they have to do a song in certain groups and then do choreo as well. So definitely anybody that has James in their group, they're saved. That's a dancer. I mean, we all remember. The love shack is a little old place where we can get together. And anybody that has Nacia Lopez as their teammate to be the choreographer captain, they're going to win. Like, we know she dances the house down boots. In fact, here's one of her favorite dances. I, I think she called this one, push away my blessings and then... <laughs> I'm 
can still wait here tonight. So they're definitely gonna win. Definitely. <laughs> oh, Kasha gonna rap too? I'm Kasha Davis and I'm here to rap. I'm a white guy and I have a black hat. And I have a button shirt and I have a husband and I'm gonna drink wine. Cause everybody has time for a cocktail. 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 Get the record now. Coming to stores now. Zero, zero. <laughs> I am gonna go like I'm at a glory hole. Just balls to the wall. I always dream about Darian's balls. I like that part. Where is the glamour? Where is the rock? <laughs> yes, we're done trying to have drama. <laughs> They're acting. Right, Destiny's badass kids, honey. <laughs> Destiny's bad kids. That was funny. Thanks. Hey, Dory, I got the feeling. Hey. You guys, I can't tell if I'm bored. Well, I'm not bored, right? But I mean, I'm not bored. But I can't tell, like, if I'm just, like, kind of, like, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Like, I'm not bored, but I guess I don't mind it because I'm watching a few girls who I kind of like. But, like, I can't tell. Like, I don't know. Once again, I think it's also just, like, drag burnout a little bit. <laughs> so I'm kind of just like, eh. Another season is on, yeah. Like, how do y'all feel? I mean, I don't know. Like, do y'all think so far it's pretty good? I don't mean, I don't know. Well, yesterday, and for both teams, I feel like yeah. it's kind of like messy, but girl, I can see your mood. Well, we didn't see her mood because they had barely showed her. <laughs> I feel like Monica so far is like kind of like how in all her season, like no shade, but like she was there, but not there. You know, like I was, I was hoping to see like this new Monica that like, you know, like, she, like, is, like, in your face and just, like, hey, I'm here. And I'm just, like, eh, I don't know. I feel like she's, like, kind of just there, but like, in her own world. Heidi, Jimbo, and myself were on tour before coming on to this competition. So, Autumn really... Not they were all on tour together. Yeah, this is already planned. Yep, definitely they're going to the top. Well, mine is one person because I already heard some drama, but... <laughs> but interesting... I'm too old for surprises. My heart can't take it, okay? Just let me know. How <laughs> it's funny because I feel like James is trying to be like, you know, more like, you know, like personality in TV. But to me, he still sounds frightened. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is this challenge that we're going to do? Let me know, Rue. Don't hurt me. <laughs> That's because like when I talk to James like on the phone and stuff, he, it just seems different. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just maybe, maybe I just know James. I don't know. Target on my back. <laughs> Please show pain down and crying. Please for me. For 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 research purposes. Vagina. <laughs> oh, I was tickled, Mama. Make sure y'all catch me and Mystique on Drag Me to Dinner, honey. We'll see you. Anyway, it's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. Got my ice cream gloss looking gorgeous. Take your bell. Get that toe out your mouth. What would Peter Pan say? And that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. That's the nasty Nina, y'all. The nasty one. Yeah. The hell. <laughs> I like this look. It feels like she's feeling her teeth this Easter. And I told you, yeah, I don't even, like the hairline is still round, but it's, it's covered a little bit. <laughs> In my mind, she's copying me. In my mind, yes, yeah, she watched my New York with Tiffany brunch thing and put on the black and green. Yes, yeah, she's copying me. She is. But it's okay, girl. We, So many people take inspiration from me. I can't even blame them. But um, I do like this. Yeah. I'm going to buy this for her. Recently in the limo with pork chop. Oh, were you the driver? Hey, it pays the bills. Yeah, that fell a little flat. <laughs> Man, wonderful. Adina Menzel. Now what? 
Yeah. All stars eight. They said, big guest judge. Who needs the? These girls aren't stars. <laughs> I'm like, normally they have like some big old big celebrity for the first episode or so. They say, yeah. Are you available? Okay, come. <laughs> How many musicals are we going to get this season? And, and you know, Alexis, it, the girl, she, the girl, she's a singer mama in her mind. Child. Let's see. <laughs> no matter how hard Alexis tries, she always just got to sing like, And that's that jazz superstar. Superstar. <laughs> what kind of stiff punching? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the way Monica and them are sitting, same. Same. It's not their fault, but this song is... It's a song. It it, it they they went to a studio and they and they any 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 and they sat in a booth and they put on headphones and they um they wrote they wrote words. Um and they pronounced those words and they said it into a booth. And um um and they you know and they added music. <laughs> I just don't like this song though. I was like uh. She ain't saying her words, <laughs> Kana. Say your words, girl. Coco is gonna hit you with a diamond studded belt when you get home. What I tell your light skin ass? What I tell your narrow ass? I say when you go in that state, don't embarrass me. I am a Montrese. Don't you embarrass me? You know I am a lipstick assassin, honey. <laughs> Kana said she's ready. She said she, she said she came to dance, girl. She said I am not. I am not gonna sing my own song. But they got her body together though, okay? What? <laughs> okay, but why, but, but secretly, why is Nation's part kind of the best so far? <laughs> like the way it came in and then with the beat and then the stop and then the words. I'm like, unfortunately, I kind of like that part. I don't want to like any of her parts, but I kind of like that part. Money, success. This already sounds better. <laughs> if they don't turn her up <laughs> with that little voice trying to rap. In my main thing is like I'll say, I came with hair and I'm going to make it pay. And I act like Muppets and Puppets, you don't make it my puppet tuppets. <laughs> I can't hear her. <laughs> my body, money, her. Say it, you can't her. <laughs> That's what kills me. My body's money maker. It must be a taker. <laughs> Ow! Come on, let me let me find out. Jimmo has a black woman deep inside her breast. Girl, okay. Let me find out. She got rhythms and and she got a little flow. She can she can flow to a beat. Huh? Maybe Tori Spelling and Jenny Garth was right. Us people of color, we can't pronounce our words. <laughs> well, first, be expecting a cis in the cis order from Victoria, because you said fish three times, so she's going to bop you. Um, secondly, why do you sound so tired? But it's Abby Monica, Beverly Hills, and then I go on the stage. And then I go and I say, fish, fish, fish. Baba zeba, zaba zuba, baba laba do. Oh, y'all can't even try to say that she's killing it because y'all know how y'all are go. Y'all will go in extra for the trans girls just because. <laughs> y'all can't fake it this time, mama. <laughs> and no shade. I'm like, I don't know, Monica just, I don't know if Drag Race is for Monica. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think, like, she's, like, just, you know, a woman. <laughs> I don't know if she really cares for all the entertaining and all that. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I have to see more of her. I have to see. 
Oscar and Kasha is 89 years old and came out with more energy. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, like once again, I don't. It's the songs in general. The first song I didn't care for. This song, I, maybe I like this one a little more because I'm more of a disco kind of person, right? But I don't think the songs are that good. I'm just like I've heard better songs on Drag Race. Um, that, that they made up for the girls. Alexis Michelle. Who is she? Oh, right. I mean, I wish the hair was a little more full on one side, but yeah, she looks pretty though. This is Jessica Rabbit after Roger Rabbit after Roger Rabbit left her for Bugs Bunny, but then he didn't know that Lola Bunny gave Bugs Bunny the herps. So now Roger Rabbit is itching, and now he can't go back to Jessica. Because now she's on All Stars. Keen, honey. Oh, and this unit? I mean, it's cute, you know. I think that material is always a little, like, um, flat in a way. But it's cute. It's cute. I'll rent it. Sasha's favorite color, leopard. The tits are... Um, <laughs> and the makeup, I, I, I can tell she has a lot of white powder still sitting on her face. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't really care for this, honestly. Closet. Heidi is serving her Pinterest out. This is cute. I don't care for the wig, though, that much. <laughs> but it's cute, though. It's something like I feel like Prince will wear. <laughs> you know, he was a drag queen with a stink booty. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll rent the dress. Hey, this phoenix is rising from the ashes. I'm giving... Ow. The breastplate is kind of suspicious, though. That breastplate is... It kind of looks like a booty plate. And the color's too dark. <laughs> this is giving me what I would have had for my carnival look. I mean, hers is more extra, but like, had I had made it to that dang, to that dang top four, and I would have came out of my carnival look. But yeah, I'm gonna buy the outfit minus the breastplate oh. <laughs> or the bo the booty plate on her chest. I'm in this monochromatic red from head to toe. Like it's. <sighs> It just falls flat to me. Like it's like it's not like bad, right? I'm like, okay, it's kind of kind of Christmassy, kind of cute. She kind of like a doll because of the makeup. But I think I just want more at the bottom or something. A little more at the bottom. It's not bad. I mean, like it's 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 kind of cute in a way. I am serving. Our nation. That's just a bodysuit. <laughs> Which nothing is wrong because like, once again, a drag queen signature is a bodysuit, a leotard. Uh, corset. That's just what drag queens wear. But it's like this is boring, though. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, it's a cute kind of color. Yeah, but it's I don't know for for this to be y'all's big comeback to TV for your signature look. I'm like, eh. <laughs> we're kind of walking like an old grandma. <laughs> Man's film. Wow, those are the largest muffs I've ever seen. <laughs> now, when James outdo y'all, it's time to go home. <laughs> Yes, James. Give me body. Give me padding. Give me hair. Give me color. Y'all notice I ain't say the face. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna buy this look. I think she looks nice. Jessica Wild, my famous forever signature drag is. She's giving me Sindel. If Sindel goes to the club, Katana, where are you, Katana? Your mama's here. And then everybody's skin is blown off, and there's nothing but skeletons left. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's cute for what it is. You know, I'm not that excited, but it's cute. But it's cute for what it is. Somebody's fucked her brains out. <laughs> I'm buying this. They showed this during the um, little trailers. I love this because to me, it's very liquid MTV back in the day where they would show all those weird cartoons and weird designs. It's very Nickelodeon as well back in the day. All the weirdness, you know, it's kind of all real monsters. Um, yeah, it's a bodysuit, but it's a creative bodysuit. Like, I love this. I'm going to buy it. Everybody knows my signature drag is usually on Leah Tarp because she's a showgirl, but we wanted to elevate. This is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. I'm going to rent this. I'm going to rent this. Oh. Yes, she does. Who is she? Is that, you know, Lala's so big, she probably need more hair. Like, maybe longer curls or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I'm looking back at the, at the screen. I'm like, what? That's it? 
<laughs> Let me play a little more. <laughs> Beverly Hills. I'm showing my legs. I mean, this is cute if you're going ice skating. <laughs> oh, Monica. Poor Monica. Well, I mean, they say bring signature you, so, you know. <laughs> like, it isn't like it's an ugly, like, um, leotard or something, but it's like, you know, going to the club or, you know, show or um, skating. Yeah, the shoes, yeah. Mm -mm. Mrs. Kasha Davis, my famous forever. I'm, I'm kind of tired of these girls wearing that kind of hair like that, that like everybody was doing. I mean, like, okay, looking at the dress, the dress is, it's, a, it's actually a pretty dress. The way it's sparkling, the color is really beautiful. Um, But, I mean, it's Kasha, I guess, you know. I'll put it on layaway. Like, it's, you know, it's like, it's a pretty dress. You are all safe. Honestly, I don't remember what anybody did, so I, I can't even be like, oh, that's that's wrong. <laughs> I don't remember. Buried in that. <laughs> and then, of course, your favorite. I am happy for Alexis, though. Like, I got chills just now, even though we all know what she did to me. Oh, we all know. I mean, we, we, we were all there. Y'all were there. I saw all of y'all's eyes behind the stage. I saw y'all looking like greedy, look, look like those, those little evil things from um the labyrinth. All y'all were there. Watching in the back. Y'all know what she did to me. <laughs> but I am happy for her, though. I'm like, because I know, like, she um really wanted this. So, like, just seeing her be able to go back on the stage and, like, have RuPaul and them judge her again. It's probably, like, full circle. Darian Lake. Let's talk about your fame looks. Something about Darian's face in this runway, I'm not liking. I don't know what, I don't know if it's the makeup. I don't know if it's, she didn't put on enough. I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know. It's something about the face this time that I'm like, I don't really, I don't know. Maybe it's the coloring, I don't know. But what I really loved was that kiss. So y'all ain't gonna clock her for not knowing her own words? <laughs> okay. I'm um, able to do the choreography, <laughs> but I really didn't care. But if other girls can do the choreography, it's the issue. <laughs> Just be funny, we'll look past it. The world watching. <laughs> I am not gonna repeat this. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna say the fool that they said, but that's my, that's my, that's my song. Oh Lord, she she's getting ready to come out as trans again. <laughs> so stupid. You are the top all star of the week. Look at Kahana winning the first episode. Didn't she wait? Didn't she win the first something on her season, like challenge or something? Or maybe I'm wrong. But okay, Kahana. You see what going to Mexico and getting your body will do for you. Girl, I'm going tomorrow, honey. The bottom two all-stars of the week. Darian Lake and Monica are in the bottom. Wait, why is Darian there? Because of her one outfit? Are you serious? <laughs> because of the one, well, I mean, her outfits weren't that great on the stage. I don't want to go home right now. I have been waiting. What kind of slow motion? <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I love you. James, say my name. Say my name. Just say it really quick. Say it. Just, just, just whisper it. Just say it. Say it. Don't let them forget about me. Step your pussy up, bitch. Dang, that shit was hard just now. I was getting like, yeah, bro. Like, step your pool up, bro. <laughs> Maybe I should leave her alone. She might whip my behind. That's still a work in progress. Who do I go for? I don't. <laughs> I wish that would be everything. <laughs> You know about some when James gets sent home. Oh, cause she will. But anyway, when she gets sent home, her exit line should be Nina Bonina Brown, and then just rolls off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I wish that would be everything. Just says my name and just rolls off three times. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love. They didn't really show, normally they'd be showing that that dang lipstick and all the talking thing for a long time. They kind of cut this one short. I don't get it because like you know they be seeming I should be seeming like she's over Drag Race. Don't like them, you know the whole trans thing. They seem like they're over her, but then they keep using her. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. So somebody was saying somebody had DM me and were like, um, "Girl, they trying to erase your history," and I'm like, "What?" I guess this is what they meant. Maybe. 
I mean, I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep playing it, but I'm assuming they're going to show a clip of um, finally, and they're only going to show her. But I still don't get what they, what they were trying to say. Like, they're trying to erase me. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but this should be a good one, though. Aja and Kahana. Stop my drag mama! My drag mother, Aja! Wait, so now she's a drag mom again? Okay. Oh, shit. They already did a song, though. Ah, you better catch those words. Oh, then she shook. <laughs> she is shook. She said, oh my God. <laughs> I split. I mean, so far, I'm like, okay. Ow, come on, Kahana. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to give y'all voguing. I'm giving you a little bit of choreo. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I just think that she's she's recording legendary again. <laughs> yeah, it's not legendary. <laughs> hey, what's happening? <laughs> are they showing things that I'm not seeing? Cause like the way they are, like, ah! like what's what's what what's going on? Am I did I miss something? Did something happen? <laughs> Was there a move? <laughs> They both almost seem like they're kind of like tired and like don't know what to do next. Like, <laughs> and I was, and like these girls can perform. Like they like it's like when they're at a club or something, and I guess maybe it's not like them trying to outdo somebody. And they're like, you know, they can perform. Like they do good. But on something about this seems just a little, a little. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, sound effects. <laughs> Hey, hey, you better sweep the floor. Girl, my luck, girl, I'd have been hit by forehead on the floor. <laughs> girl, after the second head spin, girl, they'd be like, why is she not moving? Girl, I'd have been knocked unconscious from the floor. <laughs> if that's how, if that's how clumsy I am, bitch. Girl, I'd have been knocked out. They'd be like, Nina? <laughs> <laughs> I come back. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? <laughs> They're like, the year is now 2027. <laughs> what in the random hair flip noise, sound, noise effect? <laughs> I think they tried, like, the way they were egging this on was like, it was going to be like the lip sync of the century. And I'm like, it was cute. For real, like I don't. I mean, y'all let me know in the comment section. Like, were y'all like blown away? What did you, you know? Um, I feel like Aja was, you know, doing like she was at a at a ball or something, and then Kahana was trying to give more like moves and like do a little more like you know stuff. So I guess in my opinion, I think maybe Kahana should have this one, even though neither one didn't do bad. But um, I think Kahana went more with the song. I think. Jeez. You're a winner, baby. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, okay. Aja won. Not this time, Anitra messages Aja and says, Hey, I, I'm not being rude, but do you know what ballroom is? Um. <laughs> we will continue to feature the runway looks of all the eliminated queens. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, thank you. I mean, I'm still sitting home, but yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess because they can, like, show, like, the expensive stuff the designers made. Their stuff wants to be seen, I guess. But thank you. What do y'all think about it? Like, are y'all like, okay, yay. Or, like, like what do y'all feel? We'll win the title Queen of the Fame Games. Plus. So just something for the people that got sent home to win something out of it. Okay. That's, I mean, okay. A cash prize. Of $50,000. But I would hate that though, having like fan vote because these fans are very like stuck on one or two people. Like if they don't like you, even though even though you may have the best outfits, they're going to vote for the other, other person just because they like them better. And that's why I don't like public vote because it's just messy, in my opinion. Monica Beverly Hills. Girl, I was trying to get dramatic just now. <laughs> Oh, 
But honestly, no shade. I'm glad it wasn't Darian. <laughs> It's no shit because I just don't think I don't I don't I don't think Monica needs this. I, Monica, I really don't think you need this. I don't know. It's, it, it, it's I don't know. I think your 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 spirit or your soul is too sensitive for this kind of show. I really do. I don't I don't think I, I think it's too sensitive. I don't think it's I don't think you have that like that extra fake you know like uh, in your face kind of thing that. Um, it's good for TV, you know. So it's I, I do feel bad though, cause you know, been a lot of years, and to go home on a first episode, you know that you know. But somebody got to go, I guess. You may be leaving us tonight, but the fame games have just begun. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a read though. <laughs> you won't be here for the real competition, but baby. You can win on Instagram. <laughs> okay, thank you. But I believe in a universe and how it works. Every diva. Is Drag Race going back to their roots? Sending the trans girls home early? Okay. I might start enjoying Drag Race again. JK! <laughs> okay. Well, that was kind of a long episode. And now I gotta sit through another one. I'll be back. Part two, y'all. Everybody get your um sleeping bags and put in your moo moos and your and your do rags and head scarfs. It's gonna be a long day or long night, y'all. Okay, Earl. Welcome to a woman who's all about grace, beauty, elegance. Great. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Jasmine Masters. Dragcon LA. Hey, Josh. It's your girl, Jasmine Masters. And I'm back, back, back again. Oh, Josh, I have been busy coming up with a makeup collection for my Jushies. Oh, girl, you got to try my new Zagpod lip gloss. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And baby, to top it off, you gotta get my and I, oh, lipstick. Mm -mm -mm. Make your lips look like chicken. And for my jushies who like a little highlight on the cheek cheek, you gotta get my jush highlight. Mm. Make your cheeks look like watermelon. Oh my God, Jazz and Masters! Bitch, can't you see I'm jushing? Dabha. <laughs> Winner, winner, winner. I don't know why she's so happy. She lost the lip sync. Girl, calm down. <laughs> Anna, who would you have picked if you had won? Oh, wait. Do you have your lipstick on here? Oh, it's starting the drama. What's, what's going on? What's in that box? You should open it. I should. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, do it. Don't open that box. Please. Whatever you do, don't open that big, black, pink, furry box. You're going to get vivacious staring at you awkwardly. And she's going to just stare at you while she slightly parts her mouth to catch air. And that's it. Your mother scrubs docks in hell. Monica? Monica? Okay. <laughs> this reminds me of that song from Before Dark called Monica, 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 oh Monica. How could it to follow her? What you want to do? And then she didn't follow her. So I'm going to have to let you know. See... Look, 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 listen. Li 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 listen to me. Monica, Monica, Monica. 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 Did you hear it? How can I follow her? See? So I'm gonna have to let her know. Ow. And it had nothing to do against you. We were sitting in on top. They go Darian. Uh, Candy already starting her drama. <laughs> the only Candy show Darian, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It wasn't only. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I was really swayed by Monica's... Okay, this lighting is doing people dirty. Because <laughs> I'm like, the girls have got their makeup together. And then this lighting is... <laughs> it's clocking the T's. The fame games. That sounds fabulous. They Girl, I can't when they should look like Elvis with a bouffant. I can't. <laughs> I want that crown. I like the sound of that. 
this really is like uh not awkward but like i don't know like this, this, these group of girls just seem kind of just thrown together <laughs> like like the more, the more i'm watching it i'm like this just seems kind of thrown together i don't know Heidi, you can blend. Heidi, you, you can, can blend. blend. <laughs> Clearly those aren't working. Oh, and Shady Nation, after her jokes. <laughs> Tomorrow, you'll be performing your sketches live. I'm listening, but then it's going out my ear. But something about their... It's called RPDR Live, and they're going to have a book, and then they're going to rehearse it, and they only have one shot to do it live. Is to star in sketch comedy for the new. Oh, a sketch comedy. Okay. Like the things like I'd be doing, doing, like the parodies and all that I'd be doing. Okay. But live. I swear she's never looked more gorgeous. I love it. Do you... He sounds like Gina Thompson. I mean, what can I say? Gina Thompson. She's my friend. I know her. Bronx forever. Slut, you know. <laughs> I... So far, Jim is very laid back. I think because he knows he's already gonna win. <laughs> like I, I, I feel like he's not like trying to be all extra, and then he's just like he's there. Like so far, people just seem like they're there. Like, like nobody's trying to be extra and get all the extra camera time. Even Candy, they're just there. <laughs> I know that's right. So that if Mr. Clean was black. <laughs> Basically, we are scientists who are trying to save the world from an outbreak of drag. Well, y'all not working good enough. Save us, please. It's too much drag. In your brain. This is a challenge I can really excel at. That's why I said James look like Pugsley Adams. I can't. James, I'm laughing, but it hurts me. It can cause die. <gasps> yeah, she going home. Because if okay. you drag it too long, it kills the joke. Okay. James is a comedy queen, so I'm receptive to her constructive criticism. Well, you sure you gonna listen to James? He got sent home by Kimora. <laughs> oh, you're. Ah, oh, I James, I see what you do. It just hit me. I see you, queen. Because what she was doing was better. And you're telling her to do the opposite to send her home for coming for me. <laughs> you dirty dog. I see you, queen. I thank you, queen. You better try Jesus, not me. <laughs> um, I don't... <laughs> Are you saying that you're more to be frightened than Jesus? Like... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Mario's been eating good since their Nintendo Mario movie. He must have made a lot of money and ate a lot of spaghetti. Yes, but none of that prepared me for what- Nothing choosing somebody who I don't even remember from, from SNL. <laughs> Kawhi and Jimbo. That sounds the funny like thing is that like, he legit looks like a character. Like I, like, I can't tell if he's doing a parody right now. <laughs> so, that's, like, that's how you know like you're meant to be on some comedy show. Because he just looks like a character. I'm like- <laughs> okay. We'll be method acting. Okay. <laughs> what a missed that fire. Oh, congratulations. Hi. Welcome to another home fry mail. But that she can talk a lot. <laughs> the way that mail just shook in her in her in her vocal cords. Welcome to another home fry mail. <laughs> oh, Jessica, why did you not walk in with your chicken costume for All Stars? Why? I'll touch this skin. Touch all this game. <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad. But then again, I don't remember it. <laughs> so, because if you try it confidently, it'll be hilarious. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I He's like, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> How am I doing, Rome? Am I doing okay over here? I can't with really hiding this wig looking like the only black member of the Grease movie. <laughs> Ew, with his leather jacket on. <laughs> Met Gala. So the runway category is Met Gala, which I mean, they always kind of wear interesting things anyway, but we should see. This is exciting for me. It's like a dream realized. I've always wanted to be on Saturday Night Live. What are you dreaming? Because this is Drag Race, not Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Red is trying to shut down the flag factory. What should we do? <laughs> I swear I don't remember the acting being that bad. <laughs> <laughs> see you again. I have to want to All like right. I want to be excited. And if I feel something tells me you're gonna re regret saying that. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. 
think oh. we have a good rapport. Yeah, I think we make a great. Y'all yeah, know what I said. This remind me of last time. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I think I found my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Our great ancestors, Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben's, will be so proud to see y'all reuniting as two black people. Uh, Raven, did you put any makeup on, on RuPaul? Because I'm getting... <laughs> you got my ex-mother-in-law looking a little butch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. It's funny. Yeah, RuPaul been working out, girl. Girl, she's been working out. Let me stop talking junk before she what, what, what my behind. Start your engine and may the best drag queen win. But my car broke down. <laughs> if I'm treated, it can cause death. Wait, so this is a live like SNL thing? Because they don't, they don't do all that in, on SNL. All the music and all the extra in the background. And <laughs> but, okay. Uh, it's the universe. It's even been found on Uranus. I think James is acting. But even though his facial expressions ain't making any expressions. <laughs> of drag race franchises. He did that part. I taught him that back in um, Pierre's Hanukkah acting school of legacies. Um, it got closed down due to the pandemic. But anyway, um, I used to have business cards, but um, I never had a business. But anyway, um, I'm proud of him. Yep. It's my <laughs> nerd and I don't think nature's doing that bad, though. Like, it's not, it's just, you know, it's drag race ch riding and challenges. I mean, what can you do? I know y'all think that she's pretending to be funny to, like, vogue that way. But no, that's really how she vogue, seriously. She's not joking, bitch. <laughs> oh, see, see, she's doing it. Her stink move. The get away from me. No, I want it. The get away from me. No, I want it. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> get away from me. Bring it back. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still right here tonight. <laughs> you know, she swear that's her song, girl. I'm still. <laughs> I told you, Tommy. I love that wiggle, Heidi. Oh, Connie, you better give me real, like, <laughs> like, like I, like, I actually buy that whole little scene just now. Like, I buy that. Mansfield. I mean. <laughs> Jessica Wilde and Jimbo. Ow. Darian. They did a good job with this, though, because, like, it, it seems very professional. <laughs> like, even the quality of, like, whatever they use to edit or, like, or the camera. I done said, all stars. <laughs> So I didn't win the first time around. <clears throat> How about an all drag version of Shakespeare? I that was season seven with me invited, and I was Lakeisha Shante Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> okay, Miss Kasha. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fern McCall. That dang breastplate. Let's take a whack at it. It kind of sounds like Jimbo's doing his like Pee Wee Herman Peas character. <laughs> but I buy it with this look. Soil you. That's right. We all that horror to culture. Jimbo knows how to do these dumb faces. <laughs> dang. Why I'll never get nobody fine like that to hit me on Grinder. That's the kind of guy you take home to your mama. I'm gonna call girls to talk dirt to me. You grow, girl. I had him. <laughs> you grow, girl. <laughs> yeah, put Jimbo, put, put Jimbo on Canadian SNL. But the McCall girls, they were into it. <laughs> oh, Miss Kasha said, y'all see how I kept my husband for 80 years? Get her done. Get her done. My crazy Ooh. bush was Kasha, teach me why I should leave black men alone and only date white men. You're doing a good job so far, baby. Oh, ah. That was pretty good, but kind of long. But then everything is always long on Drag Race <laughs> with these challenges. Good evening, Trash. Oh. <laughs> That's how you bring them in. Good evening, Trash. <laughs> well, dang. I just wanted to know how the weather was. In a related story, 
the Uncle Del Rio recently fell out a lady, but it's pro left anus. <laughs> yeah. The laughing track is really selling it. <laughs> if she knew where the giant phallus had disappeared to, she said... Girl, I don't know where is Heidi's nose pointing to. Is there a treasure? Girl, it's pointing. It is it... <laughs> It is an arrow. It is, it, it, go. The role of the one woman has yet to be cast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Michelle. When will they respect her womanhood? <laughs> New York, urine, wet, and desperation. They're calling it the La La Re experience. <laughs> oh. <my God>. oh. <laughs> Not trying to hold back her laugh. <laughs> Heidi is saving this whole thing. Like it, it, it just seems so natural. It's coming out really good. Welcome, pussy. Hello, America. I. <laughs> that already made me laugh. I can't. <laughs> this face and then that serious. Hello, America. <laughs> to catch. <laughs> then they. This puts my finally look to shame. But she's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kahana, I'm buying your foolery. About New Jersey, <laughs> the ball. Where do I start? Where do I start? New Jersey, the home of the brave. What do I say? We got boardwalks. We got Jersey Shore. We got Snooky. What can I say? And then we even got Gina Thompson, the things you do. The things you do. I'm Margarita. We've been best friends since middle school. Dang, her breasts are tan and golden. <laughs> but most importantly, as a woman. Okay. <laughs> now that right there, that, that little part was like, uh, like sitcom, like funny, or like the face out like that. <laughs> All the little girls in their body suits. Are you <laughs> oh, <a> little... <laughs> trying to give Tony? I'm doing my show. Hello, lady. <laughs> Wait, Alexis did that part. But I, I, I feel like I'm, I, this probably out of the other two I see, I don't know if this is my, I don't, I don't, I think this is probably the least one so far. It's not bad. I think it's probably just need more funny, like, writing or something. But <laughs> Darian's doing it, yeah. I think, I think between the two, I like Darian's little voice, I think, a little more. <laughs> okay, okay, Alexis did <laughs> She really did look like some like Jersey Italian mom. <laughs> Is that our show? Thank you. I remember. I mean, I really thought the show was ending. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so far, I will say I, I think this episode is better than the first episode. <laughs> like, maybe this should have been the first one. Web, we, we. Uh huh. I am. S There's something off putting of the neck part and the chest part. Maybe because her, she's too broad. Like she looks too broad. Like it's like very broad up there. It's like a, it's like it's, it's just, and there's no cleavage that's helping. It's just very broad. There, yeah, it's like a linebacker. I mean, like the outfit, the color. I love the color. I love the color. I love the color of the lipstick, the eyes. No, they like, like, like she looks nice in the way, but like it's just kind of broad. There's something should have covered that chest area. Cause even I can even see little pieces of string. Little pieces of string on the chest part, as if it was like cut or something. I almost want. I almost wonder was she too broad and she broke the dress, so she had to like glue that part to her neck. Like I feel like that part with the on her neck was supposed to be on the chest, <laughs> and it ripped, so she had to like glue it up and make something out of it. <laughs> Seriously. Talk about a high roller. <laughs> I know why the caged wig. Yeah, James been through Tri Tri Trixie's closet. I want to rent this though. I'm living for the body. You know, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna buy this. Y'all gonna think I'm buying it because it's James, but like, no, I'm actually gonna buy this. Like, I think like the body is giving me body. The hair is so fun. I'm like, I like this actually. <laughs> I wish that maybe there was like there was like a, a some other neck piece or something, but I like this. Oh, true. I never seen her in a bodysuit either. So that that's why it's so refreshing. Snatches the drape. <laughs> I like this outfit. I mean, I mean, like it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. The blush is so harsh, 
but it kind of works with this look and the black hair. I'm actually going to, I'm going to rent this. It's something about this that I like. Maybe could maybe some black heels could have worked too, or some black gloves to kind of break it out some, break it down some. But I kind of like this. Real close, baby. That is my face drawn out in front of my body. See, I didn't even know that was her face. <laughs> it doesn't look like her. You've heard of a yeti? Uh huh. This is a Kasha, <laughs> girl. You better hope you keep doing good in challenges, cause girl, <laughs> these looks so far, Auntie, they are. Let's just say, it's clothes that goes in your body. Imbo. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This, this is cool. But like, you know, once again, Jimbo has the money and things to do these kind of things. So, you know, it's like, we're not going to expect anything less. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to buy this. Wild. With all those insects over her, Orkin's going to have a field day. <laughs> Come up and pollinate me. Jessica looks pretty there. Um, I mean, it, this is cute, but then it's kind of like, it's just cute. It's cute though. Like it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll rent the look. Jessica Wilde now with wings. <laughs> <laughs> Not Asia O'Hara is quaking. Bite out your marks. <laughs> if, I, if I see these lips one more time, <laughs> this mouth one more time. Um, I mean, I kind of like it for what it's trying to be. Like I'm not gonna be against it. I wouldn't wear it, but um, I'll rent it for her. Oh baby, not so much teeth. <laughs> I can remove them. <laughs> Ew, why did I really imagine Michelle remo removing her dentures and going down to RuPaul? Ew. That's how she's kept her job for 70 years. Let's just say her net worth is in the black. Um, <laughs> something about this is kind of off. One of the one of the sleeve things are a little um, not as long as the other. The shoulder part. Something else with it. I don't know. Because Lala has a big head. Like, she has a wide head. So, so it's like she has to have the right kind of wigs or something like the, the right kind of wigs to frame her face and everything better um but there's something off with yeah with the shoulder part but the color is pretty i don't know i don't know i don't know Montrese. everybody wants a piece of her trident girl kahana said i'm not playing with you hoes i did not go to mexico and spend thousands of dollars for nothing she looked she already won she said she said she said i, she said, I already won the show I'm going to definitely rent this. Yes. She's what we would like to call a baller. I mean, I kind of like how it came out, but I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm going to rent this in a way, but I'm just like, I don't know what Darian is supposed to be doing this season. I don't know like what she, like, is she trying to prove something? Like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I I, I think I'm just like, is, uh, she's trying to keep up with the girls. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm like, is this her fashion? Is this her fashion? I don't know if it's her fashion. I don't know. Alexis Michelle, gorgeous. Apparently, okay, Alexis. I like this color of this dress. I don't. I don't. I don't care for the hairline per se. I think because it's just so clean. Like it just needs some little bit of hairs laid down around. That, that's my thing with, with these kind of hairlines. I just want a, a little bit of hairs just slicked down a little bit, just to kind of like make it seem more. So like the wig for me could be like you know, but um. For the dress to be made out of netting and stuff, it's a cute dress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent this for her. I am living for this. Actually, I want to buy this. Like this zoom way we're here. I'm, I'm gonna buy this. Are safe. La La Re safe. She safe. Cause somebody was saying that they felt like some of these wins were forced this episode. So I'm like, I guess I'm getting ready to see. Focus on timing and really hitting those punchlines and letting them breathe a little bit more. It could have really sucked. Oh, and James told her to go quicker. Oh, oh. <laughs> how do you even travel with stuff like that? <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm like, wait, all these things in your suitcases. Like, how? Without it breaking or bending or anything. The pussy was a little dry for me. Oh. oh, oh okay. <laughs> now, come on. If it had to go between her and Lala, no shade. Lala should be here, not Kahana. Come on now. The cat was not that dry. It was kind of funny in its own way. Congratulations. You are the top all-star of the week. <laughs> what? I feel like James could have almost had that too. But Jimbo did do pretty good too. So so I can't, yeah. It's not, yeah, I can't, I can't get too mad at it. But I think James could have had it as well. And Heidi didn't do bad either. But I guess runway-wise. But you are the bottom two all-stars of the week. Kahana does not deserve to be in the bottom this week. Not this week. She doesn't deserve it. But I know who's going home. Oh, 
lies in the hands of my sisters. Yeah, they're gonna think about all the time you read them at Roscoe's. <laughs> I can Okay, wig. <laughs> that breast line makes her, her jaw her, look so wide. <laughs> Trinity K. Bonet. Somebody said Trinity last episode. <laughs> Dan didn't want her to be there. Pangina. Not those sitting in, sending in Pangina just, just for the foolery. <laughs> Keepers of the world, she sent my ass packet. I choose. Now I'm gonna hear Jimmo crying in the background. Of the bottom queens, the chop. Not Candy rubbing her shoulder, knowing she put, knowing she put her lipstick in a box. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> now RuPaul already laughing at Jimbo. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> that was kind of a read secretly. Hey, you better give me 80s um moment, Pangiana. Okay, Jimbo, she been practicing a little bit. What would the neighbors say? I smell stink. I guess, I guess they tried finding a song that was like really like, I guess silly, I guess in a way for both of them. But yeah, Pinch Down definitely won. Congratulations, you're a winner, Girl, baby. Dang, dang, the main cast ain't winning lip sync shit. <laughs> games. In I'm gonna say kind of, kind of look like she, she about to box somebody in the face. Queen of the fame games. Plus, a cash prize. Is she gonna say this each time? Nisha. Mom, is there any wine downstairs? I know I don't drink, but it's a celebration. Any Welch's coolers? No. Sprite? That'll do. <laughs> oh, well, rumors were kind of wrong. You went home second at least, but it's all in one day though, one episode. <laughs> No, I no for real. That was just that was just to be like petty for real. That was just be petty. But no, I would not. Never. I would like. I wouldn't. I don't even feel right. Like just do it. Like that was just me being like petty, joking. Like no. Like that's so evil. I don't know, girl. Girl, I don't know. Seriously, but I'm joking. <laughs> Cause I always say it like like I'm like whatever. Like that's not you know. You know, I still feel bad for people, you know, that get on and then they have to go home so early like that. Like, you know, it's not, it's not right. It's not good, you know, because they don't feel good. So, that's just a joke, you know. You got RuPaul and he's gasped for ear. It's written, so it shall be done. <laughs> My people are so messy. They're like, well, we don't feel bad. We're not joking. <laughs> just... <laughs> I know, like, the old, like, had it has still been fresh. The whole thing with like Roscoe's and stuff, then I probably wouldn't really mean it for real, right? But like, I'm like, no, like, it, I can't really bask in that. And somebody like, you know, being sent home, I can't really bask in it. I came here to perform and you know, shine. <laughs> That's my sister. Takes on Bessie. Because remember, she was like, oh, I do arts and crafts. Somebody said, well, Nature, go home and practice her arts and crafts. I can't. This is only the beginning. I am deep. She said that last time and the time before. <laughs> well, this is why you gotta be nicer to people and stuff. Cause <laughs> it sucks. I wish that we didn't like, or she didn't have any issue with me. Cause we could have like, it, it could have been fine. Like no beef at all. But that silliness and drama that they were trying to bring over there for no reason at all. It's like, I hate that I have to kind of have these two feelings, you know, but you know, Congrats on making it on the show. You made it on All Stars. Yeah, but that's the difference though. It's like, you know, when I'm on here doing raw views and making my jokes and stuff like that or not liking something, it really is not coming from a ill place. It's not coming from a place of, of, of like evil and darkness. Unless it's somebody who I just don't really like. But the issue is that over there on that end, all those words and things they were saying were coming from a nasty dark place and then and trying to like discredit my name and make me this bad person and all kind of stuff and so that you know what they were doing with, was with evil intent that's the difference yeah what do y'all think of this 
two devil premiere thing for all stars eight let me know all the comments down below but keep it cute as always like i said and i will see some of y'all next week and some of y'all be blocked before then but whatever um and yeah you know and if you're gonna break down and edit my video to try to see messy show the whole thing <laughs> so yeah stay beat stay beautiful but most importantly stay blessed kima cho or Kamochi, bye. So that's why I'm emotional, but also, I wasn't sure how I'd be received here. And I hoped that it would be well. <laughs>